You're gonna have a good time, thank you. Give it up for Brandon Jackson. He wasn't prepared to perform tonight. I threw him on stage because I'm a dickhead. <laughs> if you didn't notice, it happens. Are you guys enjoying the show so far? She won't even fucking turn and look at me. <laughs> we're, we're to the point of not making eye contact. This is like this is like one of my relationships. We're like at the three month mark. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep it moving. Our next comedian. Um, he's originally from Florida. He's in Delaware because he's stationed down at the Dover Air Base. I've met him some open mics. He's a very funny guy. Give it up for Mr. David Maddock. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> that light is bright. Yeah, I am in the military, and uh, I don't know if it's just maybe being in the military culture, but is it me or like douchebags like producing like abnormally fast? Like, like, it's just like crazy. Like every time I walk around, I'm like a Walmart, so I'm like, dude, are they just breeding a lot quicker or what? And I had a, uh, I actually worked with quite a few of them. But I one of them come up to me and goes, how do you know you're a douchebag? I go, have you ever started a conversation with a stranger where you're like, how much do you bitch? Because <laughs> the thing I don't get about it is like, you know, I work out and I have to stay in shape and all that. But the thing I don't get is like, has that ever worked? Like, has any girl ever came home and like, I was at the bar and I met this guy. He was cute. He was nice. But I wasn't sure. But then he told me he benches 350 pounds. <laughs> Woo! I took him home. No, girls don't care. The girls just want you to look like you can bench 350 pounds. They really don't care. And that's the crazy part about being in the military is like for some reason that like that's like a, a status symbol, like, oh, how much do you bench? Like Dude, look at me. I'm in the military. Bullets start flying. You can bench four hundred pounds, but I can outrun you by I don't know, quite a bit. So yeah, you keep lifting those weights, I'm gonna be doing slim fast and jogging on the track like yeah. I run quick. But no. And the other thing is anybody had a bad week? Anybody had a bad week this week? Yeah, like, you know, I got cussed out in a gas station this week. Like, that's how you knew you've hit a new all-time low when you're, like, standing at a royal farm just getting cussed out by some shit. <laughs> but it wasn't my fault. First thing you need to know, I was drinking. I had been drinking, I wanted some snacks, so I went to the gas station. Apparently, the milk guys decided that when you open the door to the freezer to the milk, it makes a moo now, sound now. It's like, Rrr. I have no idea what that has to do with selling milk, but I'm drunk in a gas station looking at snacks. This chick's trying to read like the bottom shelf and she moved the door just enough to set off the sensor. So she's leaning over and goes, Rrr. And I, look, I thought I was at a, like, a, like a hidden camera show. I was like, oh snap. And so I'm pointing and laughing. And she stands up and just starts cussing me out. And I'm like, I didn't put the sensor in the door. Like, I'm drunk. I don't know. Like, and she's like, you know, just be a dick too. I was like, can you move out of my way, please? And she's like, that's not funny. <laughs> that, was a, that was a corny joke you're going to hear tonight. But don't worry, you'll use it tomorrow. You'd be like, will you move out of my way? <laughs> Oh man, we got a lot of people in here tonight compared to. I did a show for four people. Oh, you ever want to do oh, something oh. uncomfortable? Show. <laughs> Walk onto a stage with a microphone and just stand in front of four people. You're like, this is. All right, Smith, you ready? You want to hear some jokes? <laughs> no, but uh. <laughs> yeah, it's. Lost where I'm at. Jeez, there's. This is what the problem is when you only do shows for four people. But no, I am not like the smartest guy when it comes to spelling. Anybody here good at English? Anybody like real good at English, like commas and all that? Not speaking. <laughs> but no, like, you ever change what you're writing because you couldn't figure out how to spell what you're writing? I do that all the time. Like, I don't know what it is with me, like confiscate. I cannot spell confiscate for anything. Like, I'm like, confiscate, they took my stuff. Like, I just always have to change what I'm saying because, like, I can't spell it. And when I was young, I was like 18, I just joined the military and I got go roped into like doing a working at an adoption fundraiser thing. Well, it's like me and my buddy were 18, borderline retarded, like, and they put us at the front and they go, hey, you need to make a sign. Well, this was before smartphones, so I didn't know how to spell adoption. I'm like, you know how to spell adoption? He's like, no, what are we gonna do? I was like, screw it, give me the marker. So I put used babies for sale. <laughs> and it didn't go over well. It was not. My commander, this like CEO of this company come around the corner and they're looking, they're like, did you really write that on the sign? And I was all proud to you. I was like, yeah, that was me. Like, and they were kind of mad at first, but when they moved the sign, they realized I had written more and said, ask about discounts when you 